Hello and welcome to this week's Mariners Massive Edition on Football Manager 21. We're here on YouTube and in partnership with A-League FC. Today's fixture pits our Central Coast Mariners in Gosford against Western United, managed by Mark Rudan. They've got several talented players, the likes of Victor Sanchez, Alessandro Diamanti and Bessar Barisha up front. It's going to be a tough one, and we have had something of an injury crisis at the club. I'll get to that in a second. Good to see, though, plenty of positive social media feedback, courtesy of our press officer. Let's go into the dressing room. And the feedback from our assistant manager, Big John Aloisi, is to go out there and carry on straight from where we finished our last match. Let's go with it. Some players motivated. Always good to see. Into the tunnel and Joe Cooper. He's talking about the injury crisis at the club. Jack Clisby. So uh, these things do happen, but it's up to the squad to make sure we do not miss him so much. Uh, we are second in the A-League form table. Uh, we are in a good place right now. And here we are for the game preview. So Jack Clisby signed a new contract this week and celebrated by getting himself injured. Uh, he's going to be out for about four months. Uh, so that pretty much ends his season. Kai Rolls has come in, the left-back berth, uh, to take over. Uh, as you can see, the Mariners are first three points clear of second place Wellington Phoenix, who continue to pick up points, you know. A um, bit difficult, uh, as is the view from the top of the stadium there, when we try and see uh, what's going on. Uh, Western United in their away kit uh, of the uh, white and green. In terms of our team, we've got Mark Birigitti in goal, as always, pretty much. Negro on the right, Niedermeyer and Ruan Tongic in centre of defence. Rolls, as mentioned, on the left. And then it's Bowman and Bazanic uh, in central midfield slots. Janota, Urena and Daniel De Silva, a bit further forward. Matt Simon leads the line, uh, as here comes Janota. In to Matt Simon, through ball for De Silva, and it's wide. Good effort there uh, by, uh, especially Matt Simon, but a poor finish from Daniel De Silva. Philip Curto is in goal for Western United, uh, who I think is a really good uh, goalkeeper. Former A-League goalkeeper of the year when he was uh, with Wellington Phoenix. Really interesting goalkeeping situation at the Knicks, actually, this season. Stefan Marinovic uh, was the man in charge of the shirt for so long. Uh, lost it to Oliver Sale, who's looked pretty good ever since he's taken over the young lad. Uh, there you have it. As Matt Simon goes straight through, like salt for a widowed woman, and scores. Yanota with the assist. It's Negro on the ball into Urena. Now, he's going to be a pivotal player, both here in the Mariners' massive universe and in real life, as Simon just bends it around Philip Curto. Good goal, 10 minutes in, and we are 1-0 to the good. Great to see. Well played, Matt Simon. 19th goal of the season. And I tell you what, I keep getting told, drop him. Play Urena up front. It's not happening. Matt Simon is staying exactly where he is, uh, up top. Although I have to say, we did rest him for the last game. So uh, there has been a little bit of rotation uh, as Niedermeyer comes forward with the cross. Nothing doing just there, though. Really positive in the early stages, but anybody who's seen Western United play this year will know that they are capable of some big score lines. Uh, Niedermeyer, not the player that you'd want to throw in a cross, to be honest, as Urena loses it. And it's now Lackey Wales all the way through, but a good save by Mark Birigitti. I think he just stayed strong, stayed big, and that made uh, Lackland Wales uh, his task a little bit more difficult. As here's Urena on the counter now. Is he through? Is that a penalty? Oh, Tomoki Imai with a good tackle and a good clearance. Do like him. Uh, I think he's a, a really good player for Western. In fact, most of them are. There are very few uh, Western United players who aren't fantastic players, uh, to be honest. Andrew Durante at the back. Lots of experience. Am I there to Josh Risden? I mean, Socceroo 
Uh, Connor Payne's on the other flank. Real good player as well. All over the park. They started slow this season in real life as De Silva goes through and it's a chip. Oh, it's lovely. The assist by Mark Birigitti, his fifth goal of the season for De Silva. Just look at this big ball over the top by Birigitti. It's missed by Imai. De Silva controls and look at this little chip over. Oh, it's well over. Philip Curso, no chance whatsoever. Could have stood up and he wouldn't have got anywhere near it. What a fantastic goal by the marquee man. Uh, previously, of course, he was on loan at Sydney FC uh, in seasons past. Alessandro Diamante is getting too much space. Now, that is something you want to watch out for. The partnership between him and Bessart Barisha in real life is devastating. De Silva again forward. Oh, this time, Uzcock makes a good clearance. Bazanic now looking for the scraps. Lying in there like a vulture. And as we enter the end of the first half, we are 2-0 to the good. And we haven't really been troubled. Other than that, lucky, uh, lucky Wales getting through on us. And uh, Mark Virigitti was required to make a really good save. Stood up well to it. Everything going to plan. Uh, I think we've played uh, very well. I'm very pleased with the performance. Well done, lads. Uh, on the bench, we do have the likes of Dylan Ruiz-Diaz, who's going to come on uh, at some point, you would think, uh, especially as our forward players tire a little bit. It's usually the likes of Yenota or De Silva that uh, he comes on for. He was actually uh, the suggestion to replace Matt Simon from the staff. They wanted Simon out, Urena up front, and Ruiz-Diaz in behind in that number 10 role. Pretty glad uh, I held firm and uh, denied them that wish. As you know, to go through and look at that. Matt Simon's 20th goal of the season. Imagine if he scores 20 goals in real life. Um, he is actually scoring uh, quite a few at the minute. Uh, Jamie McLaren, though, leading the way in the Golden Boot race. The man is essentially a cheat code. But there's Matt Simon in partnership with Yanota again. So I think that's a second assist for him in the game. Uh, so obviously playing at the top of his powers as well. Seem to have found his position uh, there on the right. De Silva from the left. Just getting that central attacking midfield role all sorted. I don't see why it's not Urenas though. Uh, he's certainly a very good player. As De Silva's going to float the corner in. Uh, it's Matt Simon looking for his hat trick. Hit the woodwork on that occasion. It is quite strange to see... Um, Western United. Uh, in the preview, actually, they were put them down as a 4-4-2, which definitely wasn't right. Anybody who's ever seen them knows that they have not played anything near uh, a 4-4-2, as we suggested to bring Negro off and bring Jankovic on. That's a strange uh, substitution to make, and I don't think we're going to be making that one. Uh, I will, however, just pause the game slightly, because it's probably Uren that's going to come off. Do you know what? Let's bring on Ruiz Diaz, just to freshen things up in the final third. At some point, I suspect, uh, Daniel De Silva will come off for Jano, uh, sorry, Jankovic. Uh, he hasn't really seen much action uh, in real life. Not sure if he's injured, uh, but have not seen many a sighting of him. Risden now with the throw-in, really good right back. When he signed, actually, it was a bit of a coup for Western United, a brand new side. Uh, in the A-League last season as Connor Payne comes forward but Mark Birigitti up to the task uh, however Imai stole the ball there ah, Birigitti again secures the ball really good goalkeeper uh, I think he's probably the best in the league for my money possibly it's difficult to say because there's a, ve a lot of very good goalkeepers in the A-League uh, I seem to have this conversation every week uh, but he is certainly one of the standouts. Uh, we are probably just going to make that change then. Let's bring off uh, De Silva for Jankovic. We do, of course, have Josh Nisbe on the bench. Uh, he put in a man of the match performance in real life just days ago. Uh, as Diamante plays a free kick in. Matt Simon all the way back. Here's Ruiz Diaz. And that's a goal. Assist by Kai Rolls. It's now 4-0 to the Central Coast Mariners. This is quite unexpected. Yeah. Ruiz Diaz there. Through on goal. 
thanks to the ball from Kai Rolls, and a really good finish by the youngster, uh, who actually, of course, is seeking his fortune elsewhere. He's come over to Europe this season, but when we started this game, he was still, of course, uh, expected to be contracted to the Mariners for the season uh, ahead. Kurto now with the ball at the back. Burgess is through. That's not something you're going to see a lot of. Uh, Max Burgess in a Western United shirt. Possibly the only way that you're going to see it this season. I think he's made one substitute appearance very late on. Uh, he's uh, trying to force his way through uh, to Sydney. I believe Sydney FC uh, in a move in real life. Uh, in the game, however, he plays in tandem with Victor Sanchez. Uh, as Berisha, I think, went close there. Uh, but it was headed over. Yes, it was. Shot off target for Bessart Berisha. Just seem to be giving away a few free kicks here. And eventually, Alessandro Diamante is going to punish you. For me, best player in the competition is the Italian. Uh, plays with a smile on his face. Has got a wand of a left foot. I don't think I've ever seen anybody since David Beckham that's got such manipulation of the ball set pieces uh, and the dead ball situations. Uh, amazing player. Uh, the fact that he was rejected by the A-League as a marquee player several years ago. Uh, I think it was Melbourne Victory that wanted to sign him. Uh, just mind-blowing, really. As uh, so Risden comes in, and it's Barisha again. Uh, not getting uh, his shot on target. Just three minutes to go, and the Mariners are cruising to yet another win. Uh, as you've seen, all goals uh, pretty good for us. Uh, Matt Simon with two, and then we've had Daniel De Silva and Dylan Ruiz Diaz uh, just completing the route here. Final whistle is about to go any second as Negro goes forward. Uh, he's actually another candidate to move over to uh, the left to go with Clisby. But there we have it. Every player, pretty much just Bowman and Jankovic, uh, and actually Urena as well, not in the green. And the green means that they are over a 7.0 rating. Uh, 15 shots, 7 on target for the Mariners. So it is another win. Uh, and I'm going to just congratulate the boys. Yeah, plenty of green there. Only made two substitutes today. Normally I do like to bring on at least Alu Qual uh, for Matt Simon. But we've got another question here from Michael Rogers uh, from the Australian Football Gazette paper. One of the two. Uh, I am extremely pleased with the outcome. It's a superb win for everyone. Uh, the players getting a day off as a result. Ooh, I'm not sure about that. But there we have it. A uh, big win for the Central Coast. As you can see, absolutely dominant. Uh, and I tell you what, not in terms of possession or shots. Uh, shots 15 to 11. So a lot of uh, wide shots there from the likes of uh, big game, Bessart Barisha, and then possession. We were at, we were shaded, ten percent more for Western United. Uh, I do like Western United. Got to say, uh, since they came into the competition, get a lot of flack on social media for them not having built a stadium yet. But given we are in COVID times, I think we can forgive them uh, for that. And there's the headline: Central Coast Mariners demolish Western United. That is what will be uh, in the newspapers tomorrow. So thank you for joining me today. Come back on Sunday for the A-League Rundown. Uh, in that episode, we just look at all the news and results from all the different clubs in the A-League. There's only 12 clubs uh, down under uh, in this competition across Australia and New Zealand. So it's always nice to have a look at seeing what's happening with all of them uh, and find out the transfer news, some results and everything that's going on. So do join me for that on Sunday. Uh, usually we post, I think it's usually... During the half time, we've put it on uh, social media, uh, one of the games. Uh, and this weekend, of course, we do have uh, a big blue to look for, uh, look forward to. So I will see you this weekend. Thank you very much.